Another one. Three hundred and eighty-six years in the future, and uh, <laughs> some things have happened. Uh, when we set up this time lapse initially, I thought it was just going to be one Mongol Empire running through this uh, simulation. But then, uh, I guess when you run it through a code, it doesn't actually check that box. If you know what I mean, that box was not checked. So we had not one but two Mongol empires run through. So let's just go and start there. So yeah, so initially we had our first Temujin the first, and then Jochi went there, and then Temujin the second, and then another Temujin, the, the cruel, but it's probably the third, and then this was the fourth Temujin who came in the second wave, uh, which seemed like a much shorter Mongol empire situation, which is uh, interesting that they both spawned at once. Um, as for our religion, it's probably going to be a mess because uh, I was really hoping that the Mongols were going to reform Tengri just because they had the, most of the Holy Lands under their control and probably enough piety to make it happen, but they just they never can pull the trigger, unfortunately for us. And it looks like it's a pretty common split uh, with Ashri in the second, Orthodox in the third, and Shaviism. But uh, Nest Nestronianism uh, making a top uh, five appearance at least uh, is interesting maybe just because of the second Mongols converting to that. It's like uh, Baghdad has redone an empire and we've got the Fatimid Empire. It seems like a lot of empires, a lot of kingdoms, a lot of empires. Um, the Tungstil Khanate. So let's get back to culture and now look and see where are we going to see any crazy Mongol uh, combinations sicilian mongol mm, that's a good flavor some republic legacies with uh, a horse lord diversion of so persian mongols uh, that's pretty standard i feel like that's historically accurate um jibian 
human mongols that's just more step people hanging out with more step people uh, i'm really look thirsting for like some english mongols or uh even worse some like swabian mongols or bavarian mongols but seems to not have come through uh unfortunately skip on over the kingdom map mode to see what is really going on in europe uh, lots of rise and falls of different empires here we saw the frank frankia take over where the hre collapsed and then the hre came back um surprisingly enough you saw a, a collapse and then yeah we saw a collapse and then a resurgence and then once again another collapse yeah arabian empire has been just brought down to just being the yemen they have all the things the only thing that they are required is they only have they need another kingdom map so if they had taken over another kingdom they would have been able to do that which would have been freaking amazing um let's look at the most powerful nations on the world just to get a feel of what where everybody's at we have the baghdad empire with 181 uh and the german empire 123 the Fatimid Empire 107 and the Sin Kingdom with 101. So pretty strong overall. And then let's look at some of the skills just to see if anybody went through the program, but it doesn't seem like the program has happened with any of these. There's some geniuses, but not many. Governments type real quick just to see. Nope, as expected, things are feudal where they should be and clan where they should be as well. Um, well, actually Ghana, oh, uh, because they're Buddhism. So what have we learned from this time lapse? Uh, like the Phoenix example before, we have seen death and rebirth several times. The fact that we saw the rise, the fall and rise of the HRE twice, the rise and fall of the Empire, uh, Mongol Empire twice, uh, looks like the like Suljuk Persian Empire blown up once and now is back again. It seems like when you have fire that can raise you across the map and kind of wipe it clean, things become, um, new things grow back or new things grow but other things old things grow back which is a uh, wonderful wonderful to see if you want to do this in your own personal game it's pretty easy to make it happen but it seems like uh be wary that you're going to have two mongol empires roll it through your lands uh so be on your toes when that happens but i think that's all i have for you today thank you so much for watching i hope you enjoyed it don't forget to comment like and subscribe and as always have a good rest of your day ciao